But we begin tonight with a developing story. A former NFL player and volunteer coach with a Valley High School football team was told to leave campus and not return after being indicted on sex charges in Nebraska. Nicholas Murphy made an appearance in federal court. ABC 15's Ashley Holden is tracking this case for us tonight. Nick, do you have anything to say? Nicholas Murphy leaving federal court in Nebraska, accused of sexual conduct with a minor. Grand jury indictment alleges that in October of 2021, Murphy knowingly took a girl from Omaha, Nebraska to Tucson. Not guilty plea will be entered. This audio from this week's court hearing. The FBI says the 43-year-old now lives in Scottsdale, but formerly in Omaha, where he co-owned a studio called Dance Authority for about 10 years. We're pretty well known across the Omaha area. Um, we have about 200 kiddos that come in. Each week. The new owner of the studio, Darcy Bray, speaking with me Thursday over the phone, telling me she bought the studio from Murphy and his wife. Nick and Mindy have not been affiliated with the studio since the sale of the business, and they certainly won't be affiliated with the studio um, during an ongoing criminal investigation. She says her priority, making sure her students feel safe and protected. Murphy is an ASU graduate where he played football before having a short career in the NFL. But one of the positions that it's come to our attention that Mr. Murphy holds is at a, a high school in Arizona. We're told Murphy was serving as a volunteer coach for the freshman football team here at Desert Mountain High School. But the Scottsdale Unified School District tells us after learning of the indictment, Murphy will no longer be serving with the team. Parents receiving this letter Wednesday night from the district saying Murphy did pass a background and fingerprint check. Murphy will be allowed to return to Arizona to live with his parents. We reached out to his dad who lives in the valley over the phone only telling Telling us no comment. The now former volunteer coach will have to wear an ankle monitor and have no contact with minors, including his teenage stepdaughter, who apparently knows witnesses in the case. The best way that I can say this is this is not state court, it's federal court, and um, we don't mess around. The FBI still investigating whether there are more victims. Bray passing information on to parents. But yes, we have given the resources that were provided to us um, to, and asked to pass along. Um, from the FBI. Ashley Holden, ABC 15, Arizona.